Hi, this is uh, Shiva from Durga Software Solutions. So, as a part of video so shooting sessions today, in this uh, video session, I would like to introduce Oracle Database Administration. Okay. So, before I am going to start with uh, Oracle Database, uh, Oracle Database Administration. So, I would like to explain. So, what are the prerequisites for this uh, course? Okay. So, prerequisites for this course. are basic SQL basic SQL and basic Linux or Unix operating system commands basic Linux or some kind of uh, shell scripting so already we have I have covered this basic uh, SQL and basic Linux uh, commands and uh, shell scripts in uh, previous video sessions okay so that is uh, more enough for learning database administration course okay so actually before going to start this uh, oracle database administration course so i would like to expl explain first uh, what is the role of dba where a dba will be working okay so in order to explain that so i would like to explain first uh, a three tier architecture so uh, in the three tier architecture exactly we are going to have we are going to see the role of Oracle database administration administrator okay so in the three tier architecture first client system will come and middleware will come and database tier will come okay so very small brief introduction i will give here is it is very easy to understand so the first tier this this is called as client tier client tier and this is called as middleware and this is called as database actual db tier actual db tier now so the client tier normally it is developed by using front end technologies like html dhtml javascript vb script using these languages client tier will be designed and middleware so middleware normally so this is going to be designed by using uh, java like uh, middleware languages servlet jsp and uh, some other dotnet applications okay so and what is database server so this database server is uh, going to be communicated with the normal developers and it, it is going to be managed by dbs means uh, in order to communicate with the database server we must have proper privilege aka a proper authentication only authenticated users are allowed to communicate with the database server system okay authentication is required the user must be authenticated so whenever proper authentication is occurred so then only we are able to communicate with the database server means at the time of communicating with the database server so we have to tell the database server so what kind of user you are means whether you are a normal user or dba means who is the normal user means the person who develop who develops this middleware application and who interacts with the database who interacts with the database server frequently means so who is having some limited privileges like uh, execution of ddl commands dml commands okay dcl commands okay so very limited privileges this uh, developer will be having very uh, limited uh, future privileges means table creation queries execution so like uh, the such type of uh, privileges are given for this middleware developer java developer and another kind of user so he is called as database administrator database administrator so he is a highly privileged person who is going to look after the entire database administration means he is going to uh, see entire activities of database server so without the database organization without database administration administrator no no organization will be functioning okay because the database administrator is a key person okay for running of smooth applications so here what are the database administrator duties actually so the database administrator role is first of all okay user management okay so user management it is one only one of the key parts of which one dba database administrator apart from that many other responsibilities roles are there so those roles we are going to discuss now so what are the dba roles here so the dba roles i will discuss here <coughs> so 
रोल्स ऑफ डी बी ए रोल्स ऑफ डाटा बेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ओके सो इन द रोल्स ऑफ डी बी ए फर्स्ट रोल बिकम्स इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ वराइकल सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ वराइकल सॉफ्टवेयर Installation of Oracle software. So this becomes the primary role of a database administrator. Means, so whenever so the system requires Oracle software, it is a responsibility of a database administrator to to install Oracle software as per the market trends, as per the market demands, client requirements. Next, second one, second responsibility of a DBA is user management. user management user management so this is a second responsibility other responsibility of a dba means the moment a new project is assigned to a company so according to client requirement according to client requirement so it is a responsibility of database administrator to create number of users means so in the user management uh, session in the user management activity the U, the dbs will be creating users assigning some resources as a, um, uh, allocation of uh, table spaces so allocation of uh, passwords specifying password uh, expiry dates so alteration of users dropping of users so entire activities will come under user management user management is one of the uh, most important jobs of uh, which one database administrator second third uh, task of uh, a dba is taking backups taking backup so taking backup okay so this can be either day wise backup or weekly wise or monthly wise backup it can be that means so is not going to take up manually for taking backup some uh, automated scripts are there using the those scripts so the person the dba will be taking the backup next fourth one is monitoring database instances database instances so periodic periodically so one of the most important job of dba is to monitor database instances so whether it is working or properly or not okay so next fifth one is so if any thing goes wrong means suppose all of a sudden so power cut has occurred the system has failed so data the database is down so in such cases so the dba must be able to perform crash recovery of course that the system is going to perform crash recovery so as a dba also he has to execute some scripts okay crash recovery so this is also one of the major responsibilities crash recovery or instance recovery we can better we can say instance recovery instance recovery next sixth one is creation of data gods creation of data god actually what is a data card so this is a data card is a part of high availability architecture category so what is high availability architecture so that we are going to discuss in the forthcoming video sessions okay so in case of database failures a single database failure the database the database administrators will be having a standby database okay so whenever the primary database is failed automatically so the workload will be handed over to secondary database okay so that kind of mechanism is called as what data guard mechanism so configuration creation implementation maintaining of data guard mechanism so this is also one of the major responsibility of database administrator okay so next seventh one applying patches applying patches so what is a patch actually so whenever some uh, debugs so bugs are occurred 
in the database level so in order to rectify the bugs in the database level so always the database administrator will be approaching oracle support so they are taking support from oracle corporation means uh, uh, once per quarterly okay once per quarterly means uh, once per 3 months uh, so they are going to apply patches so in order to fix the bugs so in order to fix the bugs uh, so they are going to apply the patches so whenever a bug occurs uh, automatically the dba will be approaching oracle corporation so according to requirement uh, the oracle organization the oracle corporation is going to send a relevant patch okay after that so it is a responsibility of dba to apply patch in order to fix the bug so next installation of client software installation installation of clients <coughs> means in order to function in order to have communication between client and server so the server and server the sorry the server and the client both must be having server software means client must be having client uh, version software server must have so server version software so next when coming to other responsibility upgradation upgradation means so it, this is a process of uh, upgrading a database from lower version to higher version suppose my database is running a running in uh, 10g version and according to client requirement so the client the, the database must be moved to another higher version means so i can move it to 11g r1 or r2 version okay the, that means the process of uh, uh, taking up database from lower version to higher version is called as what upgradation okay so this is also one of the major responsibility of database administrator okay responsibility of dba is to create database links so actually what is a database link so database link is nothing but it is a communication path between two different databases okay suppose one database is there in india another database is there in usa so in order to have communication with that database so the dba should be able to create database links database database link is a, a communication path between two databases okay so it is a major responsibility of a database administrator to create and to manage database links also next 11th one next feature <coughs> monitoring alert log files alert log files so what is the alert log file actually so alert log file is going to contain complete information complete diagnostics of a database means so whenever some files are filled read, read log files are filled so all the diagnostic information is stored in which one alert log file okay so whenever the file the data files are database file uh, read log files are filled so it is the responsibility of database administrator to rectify the error so how he is going to uh, see the uh, rectify the error by looking at the alert log file he is going to conclude that the data the data uh, base uh, read log files are filled up next other responsibility of database administrator is <coughs> schema refreshment schema refresh so schema refresh means so it is a process of moving uh, a data from one system to other system so what is another, what is system actually so in software industry we are going to have mainly uh, different different uh, systems like uh, test system supporting and uh, development uh, support development system that means the process of moving data of the database from one platform to other other platform means uh, development to production production to development and on testing so like this moving the database between these uh, uh, scheme between these platforms is nothing but what schema refreshing okay so each and every topic we are going to discuss in detail so this is only overall description of a overall uh, functionalities and roles of a database administrator to manage to create and manage materialized views
materialized views. So what is a materialized views actually? So it is a remote copy. Okay, sorry. It is a local copy of a remote database object. Okay. So why to create a materialized view actually? So what is the need of creating materialized view? See, so whenever a database administrator is creating database link for connecting to for connecting to other database, and whenever the data is growing on growing in the remote server, what happens here? Data the performance of database links will be degraded. So in order to avoid that problem, the database administrator is going to create what materialized views. So the materialized view is, view is the local copy of a remote object. And whenever the remote copy remote object is uh, modified, so according to that modif modification, automatically the local copy will be reflected. The local copy will be reflected. So that is called as materialized view. So in the session materialized view session, we are going to discuss in detail. Okay. So yeah, these are the major functionalities of a database administrator. Okay.